Hey, you guys, this is your girl, Andrea Dickerson, here with IOnADaycare.com, where we connect childcare business owners with proven management solutions. And so if you're looking for a way to have order in your childcare business, because we all know that order precedes increase, and if you're looking for a way to get some inside secrets on office and file management in your childcare business, then I want for you to give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned because I'm going to show you my do's and don'ts to a successful child care office management system for your child care business. All right, you guys, see you soon. So just the other day, I believe the beginning of the year when the new year was coming in, I decided to do some hardcore research. That's right. Hardcore research into my mind and my heart about how I was managing my business. And there are some secrets that I really didn't want the world to know. But I believe that this is the season of my best year ever. So there was a time in my business to where I got so busy traveling and doing other things until I wasn't in my centers every day. And I'm not saying you have to be in your centers every day to have a successful childcare business. But what I am saying is that I learned some do's and some don'ts. And so for number one, the first thing that I don't want you to do is I don't want you to go 90 days without going through your filing system. You have to have a system in place for your staff and then you as the CEO and founder, you want to go 90 days and check your systems. Now, see, I knew that, but I was traveling around the world doing so much, trying to help so many people and further the vision until I trusted too hard. So that leads me to number two. Don't, don't trust that people are doing the things that you're not inspecting. Because if you're not inspecting your files, if you're not inspecting your systems, trust me, somebody's going to try to take a shortcut. And they're going to not do it according to your company plan. And then the next do not do is do not take your organization systems lightly. You know, every time that you learn a new system, if you learn a new way on how to organize your child care business, implement it and require others to stick with your plans and to stick with your goals. And so one of the things that I know is that if you don't stick with it, nobody in your team is going to stick with it. So stick with your foundation and you are going to be a great success. All right. So now let me give you some of my do's, some things that I learned. And I'm so excited about this season because I learned so much that I can make sure that you don't make the same mistakes I have made in my childcare business. And so at the beginning of the year, I started going through my goal accelerator. And this is a massive success major success movement to like it will move you to the next level it will cause you to take action to go to the next level and so a part of the action that it caused me to take was in my office and organization goals like this system caused me to take massive action and one of the prompts that it gave me was when I was planning for 2017 it gave me several prompts that I could look at in order to start taking my office and my systems to the next level and it asked me a very specific question what is it about my business that is not organized that if I organized I would be happier with and so as I begin to think about my year this is even before I went in and I found out that I needed to upgrade anything in my business 
I knew then that I wanted to make sure that my files were manageable, my children files, my staff files, my transportation files, my vendor files, my business operation files, like there's a whole list of things. I wanted these things to be organized in my business. And so I began to create what I wanted to do, filing cabinet organization, and all of that, I wanted to organize even my filing cabinet, not just the files in them, but my filing cabinet. So after I used my goal accelerator, my mind began to shift. And several of you may be stuck, you're still, you're not moving forward, you're not shifting like you should because you don't have any prompts that will cause you to shift and do things on another level. All right, so as my mind began to shift and begin to go to the next level, these prompts begin to cause me to think about, okay, what do I need to do? I wanted to organize my actual filing cabinet. I wanted to create an actual filing system and I wanted to actually organize my files and so the first thing you want to do is to sit down and think what items do you want in your filing cabinet so I sat down and I thought about what items go into my filing cabinet and then I created a filing cabinet system then after creating the system I said now what colors are going to be the right colors for my child care system so I gave every different section of my filing system a color then after I went through that process, I started looking at my employment records, how I wanted those to be set up and the colors I wanted those. I started looking at my children records, how I wanted them to be set up and the color that I wanted for those. And so I took massive action and one day I went home, I placed me an order for Amazon.com. The next day they were at my doorstop and I was so excited because I knew I was on my way to organizing my office, to organizing my child care program and I could not be more happier to get in the all new SMED file folders and these are two divider file folders and then I got my assistants to make my labels and I was well on my way to upgrading my system. what happened was it caused me to have such a congruent system that it operates alone it operates by itself and it relieves me of stress all right so those are the things that I did that I recommend that you do all right so now, I'm going to give you some behind the scenes stuff that I really don't want nobody to know, but because I'm your coach and I have been destined to help you walk through success, I'm going to give you one of my top secrets. One of my top secrets is that with me being absent from my child care program, my files became a total mess. It was just messy, messy, messy. And so going in was one of the things I had to do. I had to go in and assess the situation. And the first thing I did was I pulled every file out the filing cabinet. After pulling every file out the filing cabinet, I then went through each and every file. See, normally I would do an audit and files and keep moving because of time. But I went through each and every file. And what I learned was, was that the basic manila files are not going to work, especially if you have loads of children information that you have to keep per child. They are not going to work. They're not sufficient enough for what we have to do as child care business owners. So I shifted the game, changed my files, changed what type of files I used. And by me doing so, I have seeing where I can literally pull a file and know what I'm looking at, which makes my auditing time so much easier. So, all right, you guys, I just wanted to give you some of my behind the scenes stuff. I want to tell you some of my top secrets, my do's and my don'ts to filing and having an organized office system, but it never would have happened had I not had this goal accelerator, had it not prompted me, had it not caused me to make a shift, and you know what you write down is what really matters. So when you start writing down things that you really see in your business, and you're looking back at what you wrote down, you begin to hold yourself accountable, and you begin to say, nobody's responsible for this next level but me. And so if you're ready to go to the next level, take responsibility, get your office organized, because like we said, order proceeds increase so if you want increase make sure you get these files and your filing system in order all right you guys this is your coach andrea dickerson here with iownadaycare.com love you guys talk to you soon bye bye